at though this technique with Bach first. So in this particular piece, you're learning finger independence, which means that there are two voices in one hand, just mm -hmm. like we know with Bach, okay. and one one voice is usually held, while the other voice there's actually a moving line. Okay. So you notice why I write drop here, because if we don't drop, we're going to get awfully tight underneath our wrists, and we don't want that. Okay. So you want to try that on C. So you'll have to start from above to drop, right? Drop. There you go. And then drop. Good. And use weight transfer. Just rolling your wrist and stand up. Good. Okay. So let's take it from here to here. You probably could put in the tie note. What do you think about that? So that you can concentrate on just the top voice. Right. And then, like that arrow says here that somebody filled in, can you go ahead and just hold on to the E? And connect it maybe to the C. Okay, so John, if you stood up here on your finger, fifth finger, yes, you won't have any curly fifth finger then. Right, so you just stand right up on it then. There you go. Cool. Okay, and then your left hand, let's try the same thing in your left hand. Trump. Does that sound good? You want to try it hands together? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Good, so you're feeling all that motion that's co it's totally coordinated in the same, right, in both hands, both arms. Good for you. All right, and so what page is that? Page? 16. 16, and then the next one is this lovely little spring awakening, even though we're ready for Christmas. Yep. <laughs> Thanksgiving, at least. <laughs> okay, nice going.